Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel's Mike's Talks and Thoughts here back again with another video for you guys and today we are here ranking the Walking Dead seasons. I did promise you guys more Walking Dead content as the show has wrapped up here and now we have the season rankings. This of course is all subjective. People are going to have different lists here. These are just my personal rankings of the seasons and to be honest with you there really isn't a really flat out bad season to me i think they all have their ups and their downs just some with more ups than the others and some with more low points than others so uh, just keep that in mind here as we're going through the ranking here of the seasons and drop your list down below in the comments would love to see what you other fellow walking dead fans uh have for your season ranking so without further ado let's get into it coming here in last place in 11th is going to be season eight here. Season eight here is easily, if I could consider one season from The Walking Dead bad, it would be season eight. Season eight, there was a lot of just filler episodes, a lot of slow, slow building. This is supposed to be when the savior uh, war with Rick and his group is supposed to be falling out. Like there should have been a lot more action sequences. And there's some really good episodes in season eight but for the most part season eight is a very forgettable season to me like yeah everyone remembers it for the savior's war but it just didn't have that big warlike feeling like they could have made this so much better than it was made a lot of great episodes and they just really didn't capitalize on it um like the beginning of the season is actually pretty good when they have the shootout of course at the savior's complex um and then Carl's demise uh, was a very big head scratcher for a lot of people, of course, and probably one of the um, weirdest or worst decisions that the show has ever made. And season eight as a whole for me just really didn't deliver as much as it could have. Coming in here next in 10th place is going to be season 10 from The Walking Dead here. This is, of course, the uh, wrapping up of the Whisper arc and... You know, I think it was good, but just another one with a lot of filler episodes, nice, strong, uh, top tier of episodes in this season. I think the Whisper arc is pretty cool here, um, but it's nothing groundbreaking, you know. Definitely something that uh, season 10 just kind of feels like that stalemate between season 9 and season 11. It kind of feels like that in the middle ground where they didn't really know what, what direction they kind of wanted to go and trying to figure out everything they were going to come off of season nine and how they were going to prepare for season 11. Um, and then of course the COVID episodes were a little bit hit or miss, pretty much a miss except for the last one. Uh, Here's Negan is one of the best episodes in the show, but those other ones are kind of eh, for me. I think a lot of people as well are just kind of, they kind of feel like filler episodes. I mean, definitely could have done a little bit better with uh, season 10 here, but it had its, Solid moments here and there, so comes in here, number 10. Coming here next at number 9, we have Season 7. Now, Season 7 here, the first episode, it's one of the best episodes in the entire show. I think most people would agree with that. Following the Season 6 finale, the Season 7 premiere, one of the most heart-wrenching, emotional, crazy, shocking, however you want to put it, moments in the show. And... From now on there, it just goes downhill. I wasn't really the biggest fan of them doing, showing them each character after the events of the premiere episode. We spent an entire episode with Daryl. We spent an entire episode with uh, Tara and Heath. And uh, there's just a lot of, you know, disconnect and, you know, only following one or two characters at a time. Some of those episodes can be really good, but for the most part, these ones just didn't hit that well. Um, and again, just kind of going throughout some okay episodes through season seven here. I do like the season seven finale. I thought that was probably one of the strongest episodes in season seven. Season one or the episode one that kicks it off for season seven is easily what makes this come up here. Uh, it's pretty much on the borderline with season 10 here, but season seven, the introduction to Negan is amazing. Some funny moments. Uh, I guess if I could say anything that's a big standout, the comedic uh, relief in this season was definitely sky high. 
Coming here next to number eight, we have season four here. Season four, this is a little bit of a shocker because everyone, you know, loves those earlier seasons of The Walking Dead. But for me, season four, it has three of the best episodes probably in the whole series. Um, Too Far Gone, The Grove, and A are some of the best. But there is some slow points. I'm not really the biggest fan of the start of the season. Uh, I, I can't stand the Governor episode. I think a lot of you know that. And I hate that his storylines had to come in season four i wish they would have wrapped that up in season three i'll talk more about that when i get to season three here but um i wasn't really big on the sickness i mean you know it was all right but they didn't need to spend like three or four episodes on it the terminus part this is something that i'm kind of mixed on because i love seeing their journey to terminus and i love the interaction of abraham rosita and eugene uh in the later part of season four but just again, some slower episodes that only focus on one or two characters, kind of how they did in season seven. And, you know, that recipe can be a little bit disastrous, but I thought it was cool at the end of the season. The end of the season was pretty epic. So I got to give it that. Uh, definitely, I would say there is a big gap from season seven to season four, even though they're only one spot apart. This is kind of where the gap starts uh, showing here in the rankings coming in here next we have season six here walking dead this is of course when they have finally encompassed alexandria in its entirety and they're dealing with this big walker horde that is coming their way which leads to a really crazy middle episode of the walking dead here right in the middle of the season no way out being one of my favorites from the show and then the episode after that, meeting Jesus and meeting, you know, the Hilltop community uh, was really great to see and how they can branch out and make this universe even bigger than it is. Uh, definitely built some great stepping stones here moving forward. I actually really did enjoy this season. Uh, there's a sort of a little disconnect at some points, but for the most part, I think that this uh, storyline, you know, the first like half of the season is of course them still being accustomed to alexandra and dealing with the walker horde and then the fight against the saviors in the second half of season six probably the best parts of the savior war was during season six here when you still were very ambiguous on the saviors and how much power that they had i thought season six was actually really good so uh yeah coming in here next we have season 11 here season 11 uh, a really, really underrated season of TV. I really enjoyed that finale episode. I really enjoyed the first two episodes from this season, as well as some of the middle episodes. I think that the uh, Reapers are actually one of the most underrated antagonists from the show. You know, they're not the best. They're nowhere near a uh, governor or Negan level, but they are just underrated in my opinion. I think that Leah and Daryl's uh, little connection here is that a little bit interesting and seeing these fighters here uh carver is considered like the best fighter in the show um and i just i really enjoyed parts of season 11 there is some slower episodes here and there and it's definitely a long 24 episodes is a little bit much here but for the most part i think this is a really solid season of tv definitely one i enjoy watching some of my favorite episodes to rewatch from the walking dead or moments are from season 11 here coming in here next we have season nine from the walking dead of course everyone you know seems to have beef with the later seasons of the walking dead but if you had to ask anyone uh what are some of the better seasons from of course the later seasons season nine i think's gotta be in there two of the best episodes uh what comes after and uh the calm before so so great two of my ultimate favorites and just a lot of nice little episodes sprinkled in. I love the introductions of the Whisperers here and just the little mystique and how they are. And uh, Lydia, of course, getting introduced into this. And like I said, just this whole introduction to the Whisperers I think is great. I think the introduction to the Whisperers is actually better than the conclusion to the Whisperers. I think it's really cool how they do it. And uh, just the first five episodes were amazing. Uh, seeing Rick, of course, and then when Rick leaves, you know, that was a big turning point in the show, but I think they did a good job of trying to balance out Rick not being there. And um, there's a little bit of sketchy stuff in this season, 
but for the most part, a really enjoyable season. I'm not really too big on the finale episode for this one, but the one before the penultimate episode, one of my favorites in the show, the most shocking moment in The Walking Dead, in my opinion. Coming in here next, we have season three here. Season three, of course, introduces this new group with the governor. We had seen up until this point conflict within the group, but never with an outside source uh, for like more than an episode or two. Uh, this was finally the first big antagonist. The governor here, he is very infamous, of course, in the comics. And now with the show here coming in in season three, uh, I really liked Michonne's entrance. You know, she comes in at the very end of season two, but she really gets fleshed out and a really nice introduction to her character in season three. And Andrea becomes a little bit better. You know, still not that great, but uh, you start to understand her more. A lot of big events happen. Kill Her Within is one of my favorite episodes from season three. Um, they got a lot of great little episodes sprinkled in here and there. The one downfall I will say with season three is that they should have wrapped up the governor's storyline at the end of season three. That was one of the biggest mistakes that they ever made in the show, in my opinion. That was a storyline that I had wrapped up. It was good to go. Have the invasion of the prison. If he would have just not killed his group, gone in with his group that he had, and that's how uh, the prison scene happened, that would have been great. The only difference that I can think of long term was meeting Tara and I think that they could have done that differently not having had met the governor I think they could have implemented her somewhere else in the story. I just really think that they should have offed the governor's storyline at the end of season three that was a perfect time to end it that that storyline had concluded right there to its natural end and they dragged it out waited until the mid-season finale of season four and it, it was still good, the conclusion was still good, but it just, it would have hit harder if it came to his natural conclusion and I had all these episodes of where's the governor and have, like, you know, him falling apart and trying to rebuild back his empire, you know, the, I just, personally for me, I would like to see in season three end like that. All right, now we're here to the top three here. Coming here at number three, we have season one. This is, of course, an all-time classic that everyone knows about if you're a big Walking Dead fan. Only six episodes, but man, do these episodes hit, man. Just such a great introduction to this world of me and Rick Grimes. Uh, and you've seen all these characters and getting introduced to them. And big events happening and the end of the season with the CDC. It's just amazing. I just, I really like the introduction to these characters meeting these characters and seeing what their actions are going to do next, uh, seeing how their actions affect others and seeing just the walkers for the first time. And in season one, they kind of have the variant walkers where, you know, they're more advanced. It was just a really nice introduction. I really liked all the episodes from season one. It's a very nice, short, sweet season that keeps you open for the next season, which is number two on my list, a very overhated season season two here season two is one of my favorites i love i absolutely love the rick and shane dilemma that is one of my favorite points of the entire show i love the farm i love herschel and maggie and uh just all that they encompass at the farm it's amazing one of my favorites you know and a lot of people say the pacing is wrong and i i never felt that way i was always on edge knowing like uh where sophia and then the review of her was one of the best episodes and of course the conclusion of rick and shane and then finally the first big like real walker attack where the entire farm gets destroyed at the end of the season some of my favorite moments in the show absolutely love this season uh, definitely one that the walking dead community is not that big on but i personally really like this season one of my favorites for sure but coming in here at number one is going to be season five. This season is basically perfect. There is one storyline in the entire season that I do not like, and that is the whole Beth Hospital storyline. If you just cut that part out, this would be almost like a 10 out of 10 season. Like This is probably like a nine out of 10 season for me if you had to ask, where would you rank The Walking Dead season five? Just give it like a number off the top of your head. It'd be like a nine out of 10. This is just a really good season of television. Season 5 with No Sanctuary being my favorite episode of the show. This is peak Walking Dead when it was just crazy. You know, 
so much going on and the terminus plot line crazy and that even carries a little bit into the rest of season five and then meeting father gabriel which was really interesting and finally getting the introduction to alexander this is at the point too where i think the group this is like the iconic group when you when you, when you see the scene of them walking uh this is of course peak walking dead time when the show was just at its peak it was hitting on pretty much everything they had found uh what they were doing in season five here just so much that happened and so much that left you like more answers to come it was so great like i said just the only storyline in this season that i just didn't vibe with was the beth hospital storyline but even then that one had a little bit of salvage conclusion it was great seeing uh noah uh tower james williams a phenomenal actor finally get put on the show here and comes in here at number one for the walking dead seasons for me so yeah that's gonna do it everyone like i said leave your list down below take care and peace out